we are talking about fire safety the memory of the 146 people who lost their lives in the triangle shit waste fire stands as a reminder that legal protections and workplace safety standards were won through a long struggle for social justice and at great human cost i think everyone knows fire is a triangle fire is the combination of three elements in this training session i'm trying to cover the common sources of ignition so let's get started the number one and the most important ignition source for a fire is electrical appliances and insulations where faulty equipment or misuse may lead to electrical faults short circuits degradation of insulation in adequate earthing loose connections and overloading arising from incorrect fuse rating obstructed ventilation a cooling causing overheating in appropriate use of electrical equipment in an explosive damp and harsh environment equipment left running for extended periods when it is not designed to do so source of ignition might be the lightning strikes which can cause fires and require systems such as lightning conductors a heavy gauge conductive path to earth to give protection source of ignition might be the cooking activities which can result in kitchen fires arising from unattended equipment contact of heated surfaces with combustibles such as food spillages clothing towels etc overheating of food particularly cooking fat and failure to clean extractor units common source of ignition might be heating and lighting heating and lighting causing fires due to heaters and lamps being too close to combustibles or damp clothes obstructing heater vents even at ambient temperature materials such as hay or shredded rubber from tires are susceptible to self heating and can spontaneously ignite and now the most common source of ignition is smoking traditionally a major cause of fire but less so now where smoking is prohibited in the workplaces and public places dear friends and colleagues if you like to avoid fire incidents you have to control ignition sources you have to follow the workable safety precautions and if the triangle is not complete there is no fire in the previous session fire safety part 1 we have discussed about the common sources of ignition in this training session fire safety part 2 we will talk about common sources of fuel dear friends and colleagues common sources of fuel include paper and cardboard common combustible materials often found as waste materials in the workplace these materials often accumulate because of poor housekeeping shredded paper waste shredded paper shredded shredded paper waste is the easiest of them to ignite so this is number one cause other source so paper and cardboard is the primary and number one source of fuel that may lead to a fire incident in a workplace number two furniture fixtures and fittings the general content of most workplace accommodation and work areas and include seating workstations furniture floor coverings curtains and blinds usually manufactured from 
carbonaceous material and our plastics they are therefore potentially combustible you are on the platform of safety first life if you are first time on this channel kindly subscribe it and press the bell icon for future notifications and if you find the video informative then share it with your friends number 3 common source of fuel is electrical insulation usually in the form of polyvinyl chloride pvc it has a relatively low melting temperature which will burn when exposed to a flame and provides a source of fuel in conjunction with overheating electrical equipment number 4 combustible structural materials which include timber which burns but in a predictable manner and can give a reasonable time lag before failure occurs particularly if the timber is protected with plasterboard or other coverings building boards such as softboard hardboard and plastic board which are not easily ignitable but will provide fuel in a fire number 5 wall and ceiling linings and frameworks fabricated from plastics widely used inside buildings expanded cellular plastics typically urethane foam are used as wall and ceiling linings as they offer very good insulation properties but if unprotected present a serious fire hazard unplasticized halogenated plastic upvc window frames are commonly found in building they are naturally flame retardant but added plasticizers can make them combustible and they produce large quantities of smoke and carbon dioxide in a fire number 6 flammable chemicals liquids and solvents include petrol and other fuels paint ink adhesives and cleaning fluids they tend to have low flash points produce vapor concentrations above the low explosive limit at room temperature and will readily support combustion if exposed to a source of ignition dear friends and colleagues if you like to avoid and prevent catastrophic fire incidents in your project in your workplace or in your organization then you have to concentrate on the common sources of fuel how to control fuel sources because in the fire triangle if fuel is missing oxygen and heat is there there is no fire a small spark can cause a huge fire and a fire incident cause the loss of properties and the loss of lives as well as the environmental pollution to avoid all these hassles hurdles and sufferings it's easy to maintain and upkeep fire safety in your work site and that's all for now 